Hello Geneva and welcome to Geneva Works. I'm your host Kevin Starr. It's no secret that Geneva is a popular destination for shopping and dining in our area. Our downtown is filled with unique independent retailers and we are also fortunate to have national chains located on Randall Road. What might not be as obvious is the dedicated work of our economic development department to attract and retain those businesses to our community. Today, we're joined by business development specialist Jamie Heflin to talk about how Geneva strives to be a business-friendly city. Someone to open a business may choose uh, to locate in Geneva for a variety of reasons. Geneva is very fortunate to offer a diverse mix of industrial, retail, as well as service businesses. Um, each business is unique. So again, each, each business is going to have their own set of goals and reasons for coming here. Some of the obvious factors are the location, the reliable municipal services, as well as the community reputation. Geneva is located approximately 40 miles west of Chicago. It is very easy to get to by train, by car, as well as by plane. Uh, the Geneva Business Park is adjacent to the DuPage Airport. The Geneva Metro West line stops right in the heart of downtown Geneva. It makes it very convenient for visitors as well as employees. And of course, we're also um, kind of between some major expressways. So very convenient location. I also mentioned community reputation. Geneva is known to have one of the best downtowns in the country. We have over 200 independent retailers and restaurants in the city of Geneva. And these businesses are the heart and soul of our community. We also have a very strong school system, parks, recreation. So in addition to being a great place to work, it's also a great place to live and play. When someone's looking to open a business in Geneva, uh, we, the first question we're gonna ask is, how can we help you? That's the role of our department, is to assist the businesses in any way that we can. Uh, again, each business is different. They're gonna have their unique set of challenges and their unique goals that they're gonna wanna reach. For a small business, which you know we have many of here in Geneva, what we may ask is, what type of business are you looking to open? So we can help determine where they um, might wanna locate within the city. We're gonna ask, do they have experience? Is this their first business? Have they worked in this industry before, et cetera? And that usually comes down to, uh, what's your business plan? Do you have a business plan? As any seasoned business person will tell you, a business plan is sort of the foundation for success. Our department is uh, always willing to help look at a business plan and fill in any holes where we can. Uh, we do also highly recommend the Small Business Development Center out at Wabansi Community College, as they have a great free program for small businesses. We can help a business find a location. In the, um, our department, we like to think of ourselves as matchmakers. We work closely with the brokers who represent the properties in the downtown and throughout the city. We also uh, monitor the national databases to determine what sites are available, what's been leased, etc. In doing this, we maintain uh, what we call our available sites database. And this database, you're able to search. It's online. It's on our website under the Business and Development tab. You can go in and you can determine you know, what sites are available. You can sort it by size, by location. It's a very good tool. We're also uh, very happy to create customized reports for someone. So if they're looking for, they want between 3,000 and 5,000 square feet, they know they want it to be zoned for office space, we can go in and use our report tool to um, help them kind of narrow their focus. Ultimately, any decision is going to come down to the building owner and the tenant, is, but we're certainly happy to help along the way, any way that we can. The Economic Development Department can help determine if a use is permitted in a particular zoning district within the city. Like any municipality, the city is divided into uh, various zoning districts. Those range from industrial, retail, office, residential. 
with many other layers on top of that. And uh, what we can do is we can help um, determine if someone's looking for a retail space, uh, if we know what type of business they're going to open, whether it be a hair salon or a, an apparel store, if it is permitted within that zoning district. Uh, for example, the B3 zoning district is what encompasses most of 3rd Street. And the, the definition of this district is to sustain and enhance the quality of the character of 3rd Street. Meaning they're particularly looking for things like apparel stores, art galleries, bakeries, that sort of thing. If someone comes in and they're kind of falling outside of that box, uh, what we'll do is we'll work with our community development department to determine if this can be a special use or if they're going to have to look for a location elsewhere. Uh, once a business has determined where they're going to go and they've got their lease signed, the next step is acquiring the proper permits and licenses. So they'll want to visit our building department. A uh, change of tenant permit is going to be required for any business coming into Geneva, even if they're just relocating within the city. And once that permit process is complete, they'll receive their certificate of occupancy. Once the certificate of occupancy is issued, then that lets our department know that the business is open, or they're going to be opening very shortly, and that way it'll trigger some of the other services that our department can offer. The City of Geneva does have an incentive policy in place for businesses. This policy was developed and approved by our City Council. And what it is, it's based on our long-term planning documents. These documents include the City's Comprehensive Plan, the Downtown and Station Area Master Plan, as well as the Southeast Master Plan. Each request for an incentive is going to be approved on an individual basis and reviewed by the Economic Development staff the city administrator's office, as well as other city staff, as well as the city council. So it really is something that needs to align with our goals. Um, if anyone wants any more information about our incentive policy, they should contact the Economic Development Department and we'd be happy to share that. Once a business has obtained their certificate of occupancy, we have them complete what we call our employer's database form. This form has important contact information as well as information about their business. And what we do with this is we have our online business directory. It's available on our website under the Business and Development tab. This directory is very useful, especially now we no longer have yellow pages or anything like that. This is a great place for residents as well as visitors to come and see who is in Geneva. We list all of the businesses free of charge. The directory can be searched alphabetically by business district as well as by category. We have learned through our web stats that far and away the most popular category is restaurants. So if you're feeling hungry, you'll want to check out our business directory and decide where you want to go for dinner. In addition to the online business directory, we also have a printed version. One of the things we do is we work with the Geneva Chamber of Commerce who produces this event shopping and dining guide on an annual basis. Inside of this guide is a map, again listed by categories. It also shows you a location. And what this map lists all the retailers and restaurants within the city. It's a great tool for visitors coming from out of town and again as well, people who live here, they always want to know where to go as well. In addition to the printed brochure, we also have large scale map tables located throughout the historic downtown shopping district. These are a great tool for people who are walking around and just looking to discover new shops or restaurants to visit. Recently, the Economic Development Department worked with some local merchants to develop a Pinterest page. It's called Geneva Shops IL, and there are currently over 65 boards on this page for the different businesses. And the idea for this was um, you have a lot of people that are familiar with Geneva. They love to come here. They go to the same four or five shops every time they come. And so in this instance, what they can do is they can check out this page and it'll show them kind of a glimpse inside some of the other shops that are in Geneva. The city's economic development department is also very active on Twitter. 
we use the handle at Geneva IL under Explore Geneva. And what we do with that is we promote the various merchant events going on around town, the festivals coming up, and just kind of let you know about some exciting things happening with our shops and restaurants. Our department uses a variety of tools to communicate with businesses. One of the most important ones is email. I'd say on a monthly basis we send out an email newsletter containing important information for our businesses. And it might be information such as upcoming events and how they can participate, uh, programs that may be of interest to them. We, we often hold special meetings, so information about those would be in there. And it's just a great way to let them know what's going on in town. In addition to the email newsletter, we also produce a quarterly newsletter for our downtown merchants. And this we hand deliver. And in addition to having information about the events and meetings, it also lists new businesses that, may be, that are going to be coming to town soon. So we like to put that out there so they know who their neighbors are going to be and they can help us welcome them to the community. If a business is not receiving the newsletters from the Economic Development Department and would like to, then they should go ahead and contact me and I can get them signed up for it. The City of Geneva does recognize that Geneva's downtown is very unique. We have over 200 independent businesses in our downtown as far as retailers and restaurants. And unlike their counterparts out on Randall Road or Geneva Commons, they don't have a marketing department, they don't have a human resources department or a finance office. They're doing it all on their own. The Economic Development Department likes to help where they can with um, various programs that we put in place. Some of those include uh, working with what we call our Business Improvement and Retention Committee. This is made up of some downtown business owners. We meet on a quarterly basis. And what the committee does is they discuss programs that may be of use to our independent merchants. After each meeting, we determine what our next quarterly merchant meeting is going to entail. We focus on topics that are uh, timely for the independent merchant, whether it be how they can utilize social media for marketing. It may be how they can participate in upcoming events. Uh, or it may just be a networking session so they can get to know their fellow businesses in the community. We also offer special programs. One of those is frontline training. We hold that on an annual basis at the Geneva History Center. This program is somewhat unique to our town. I don't know of many others that do it. And what it is is it's um, open to any of the, the independent retailers to come in and it focuses on a little bit of Geneva history so that they have some great tidbits to share with their customers, as well as some customer service training and other topics that may be of interest to them. Another program we offer is called Customer Friendly Hours. And what this program is, is it encourages the downtown shops to stay open later. We know a lot of people can't make it here before five o'clock to do their shopping. And so what this program is, is especially during the holidays, businesses are encouraged to stay open Thursday, Friday, Saturday night until at least seven o'clock, as well as to be open on Sundays. And if someone is participating in this program, they have what we call our customer friendly hours banner hanging up either inside their window or outside their store. It's a big purple banner with a yellow open down the side. It's very easy to spot. So if you see these banners, that means that those businesses have committed to maintaining more accessible hours. The Economic Development Department is located at Geneva City Hall. We're at 22 South 1st Street. And you can also contact us by phone at 630-938-4555. And of course, you can go to our website, GenevaIL.us, and find a wealth of information. That is all the time we have for Geneva Works. I'd like to thank Jamie Heflin for her time and insight into the Economic Development Department. We also thank you for watching. We'll be tuning in again next month to see how Geneva is working for you.